Good morning. Today we'll understand the teapot program, how to draw a simple shaded scene consisting of a teapot on a table, define suitably the position and properties of the light source along with the property of the surface of solid object used in the scene. In this program, we should develop a simple scene consisting of wall, table, and a teapot and demonstrate the different effect of lightning and shading. Algorithm. Use a function glut solid cube that draws the wall and table. Use the same function which will also can draw the table legs. Glut solid teapot is used to draw a teapot. Let us understand how to implement the program. In the program, the main function glut init initialize the glut library. Ambient array set ambient RGBA intensity of light. Set what is the light position? X, Y, Z, what is the position of the light source? Glut init window size is 700, 700. Glut create window creates a window with the name teapot. Glut display function so we'll call the display function the let us understand how the teapot is displayed gl viewport will draw a viewport with the coordinate 0 comma 0 700 comma 700 gl clear clear the color buffer and the depth buffer OBG will call the user defined function OBJ and let us see how the object is completed by calling this function OBJ. OBJ function, the arguments which we passed here is TX the translation X parameter, TY the translation Y parameter, Tz, the translation Z parameter, and the scaling parameter Sx, Sy, Sz. In the OBJ function, first, when I call GL rotate, GL rotate, that is, I want to rotate the cube 50 degree along Y axis. Next, GL rotate, rotate the cube 10 degree along negative X axis. GL rotate. Rotate the cube degree 11.7 along the negative z axis. Then GL translate. Translate the cube with the parameter Tx, Ty, Tz. GL scale. Perform the scaling on the cube with the scaling parameter Sx, Sy, Sz. Glut solid cube. This is the user, this is the function glut solid cube draws a cube with the size 1. So, in the function, suppose I directly, without performing any type of transformation, if I call glut solid cube, which will just display a cube like this, and this is the size of the cube, which defined with a value 1, without any lightning effect, without any lightning effect enabled in the main function, it will just display a window with a white color. When the lightning source is enabled in the main function then glut solid cube will display a window cube like this on the window this is with the lightning effect now let us understand how the obj function is works so when i call gl rotate rotating 50 degree along the y-axis this is the view Next, when I rotate, again perform the rotation by 10 degree along the negative x-axis. This is negative x-axis rotation. Next, GL rotate, rotate along 11.7 degree along the negative z-axis. So this is the rotation of the cube. Then, when I perform GL translate, so you can see the cube is translated at some distance tx, ty, tz. When I call GL scale, the cube is now scaled down 
and just observe it looks like one wall of the scene it just observe it looks like one wall of the scene so when in the display function when obj function is first called it will just display the first wall of the scene when i again call the second obj function it will just display the floor of the scene the floor of the scene it is completely drawn against using the same blood solid cube function third obj function when i call it just displays the back window of the scene so the three walls of the scene is now created when i now call obj function it just will now draw one leg of the table so another leg of the table this is the third leg of the table the fourth leg of the table this is the table top now i this is the scene on the scene now i am going to call gl rotate rotate 50 degree along x axis gl rotate rotate 10 degree along the negative x axis gl rotate rotate 11.7 degree along the z axis perform the translation perform the translation with tx ty tz so blood solid teapot is a function that plays a teapot on the top of the table and the size of the teapot is 0.09 So we'll come back to the main function. So this clad display registered in the main function calls the display function and display the complete scene with the wall, table, and a teapot. In the main function, we need to enable the light source. So GL enable, and the argument a constant is passed. GL underscore lighting. This will enable the lighting. What type of light source is used? Light zero. enable the light zero this gl material gl material function specifies the material parameter for the lightning model so material float vector the first argument is it on the front gl underscore front that indicate the front face and the type of the light gl underscore ambient and the ambient light source that is what is the ambient we have specified here what is the intensity of the light gl light fb function return a light source parameter and the default this is the default color for the light zero which is white gl light float vector indicating what is the type of light source the default light source is gl underscore light zero gl underscore position we have specified what is the xyz position so we need to also enable the depth since buffer double buffer is used we need to enable that by calling the function gl enable specify the constant gl underscore depth underscore test so in the function in the main function at the end we call the grep main loop where it starts the event processing thank you and the, let us see the program output this is the program output which displays a scene with three walls and a table on the teapot thank you